So we've just looked at the uh, rotational version of the equations of motion for uh, non-accelerated motion and... Actually, no, we haven't. Oh. Well, uh, you've got your basic equations anyway. Um, velocity equals distance over time. Um, that has a rotational equivalent, um, which is angular velocity equals angular displacement over time. Okay, and same with acceleration. Um, angular acceleration equals change in uh, change in omega, change in angular velocity over time. We did look at those. Okay, anyway, um, we also have uh, kinematic equations in a rotational form. Um, so we'll we'll just very quickly do those. Um, first, d equals v i t plus half a t squared. Theta equals omega i t plus half alpha t squared. And you'll find with each of these, there's nothing tricky, there's nothing different. You can derive them exactly the same using an, a, a graph of uh, velocity against time. Um, but we... Okay, I just got interrupted. But as I was saying, you can find that with um, these, it's more about learning familiarity with the symbols and the context. It's the actual mathematical side of it. It's just the same. So anyway, uh, the next one, um, angular uh, displacement equals... Omega i plus omega f divided by two. You're trying to find the average time, uh, average velocity, angular velocity multiplied by the time. Trapezium formula, if you remember. Uh, then we've also got um, omega f squared equals omega i squared plus two alpha theta. Looks weird, but it's right. Omega f equals omega i plus alpha t. There we go. Get used to them, practice them, do some questions relating to them, and then it'll become relatively easy.